Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, uh, I found something sort of interesting. Uh, I got recommended this by a friend of mine um, who excitedly met me at work once and was like, hey, have you seen the new Dino Crisis fan remake? And I'm like, what the fuck are you on about? Dino Crisis fan remake. Anyway, he sent me the link and lo and behold, in a similar fashion, to the Silent Hill 1 remake that we tried a few weeks ago, a single solo developer by the name of Stefano uh, has created... It's more than a demo of the, the start of the game. But he's recreated Dino Crisis in Unreal Engine 5, and although it's only about an hour long, apparently, allegedly, um, it sort of follows the main story beats, as I can understand. It's like a whole complete experience. It's not just like a demo of an intro. So I thought today we'd take a look at it, because why not? Um, I am going to read some information here, because I've literally just discovered this. You're sort of discovering this with me right now. So uh, this isn't free either i must um mention that so you can go to his site i'll have everything linked down below but you can go to his site and i think it's on itch.io actually I've, all of that will be in the description and uh it costs one euro you can choose to donate more for instance i sent him three euros because i thought it's it's got to be worth it right and support the guy so this is the information on it Read before downloading. This project is purely inspired by the original 1999 game, but it does not represent a full remake. I'm a big fan of the first Dino Crisis game. I tried to convey all of the atmosphere and horror of the original in a modernized fashion. I also, uh, oh, I hope you like it. As a solo developer, it's difficult to do something really noteworthy. I would imagine so. But this small big work makes, small slash big work, <laughs> makes me somehow proud of how far I've come with personal progress in video game development. It is an important milestone for me that I want to share with you. Okay, I th you can tell that English isn't his first language. I want to share this with you with this award, which is made for the fans. But above all, uh, as a personal demonstration, you can do anything you want when there is passion at the base, I guess. Uh, so this is a third-person shooter survival like the new Resident Evil games. I tested it on my old PC, and which was an i7 with a GeForce, RT, GeForce RTX 1050 Ti. S sir, that doesn't exist. Do you mean a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti? All right, whatever. It works very well. So if you have performance issues, pay attention to your PC before to write to me. Okay, and then here we go. Purchase, buy now for one euro or more. In order to download this game, you must uh, purchase it at or above the minimum price of one euro. You will get to access the following files. And there you go. Dino Crisis Rebirth. Now, what's interesting about this is I don't think he's done anything wrong here by remaking somebody else's property. I think that's absolutely fine, especially in the manner. But it is a little bit of a gray area. I suppose you're not necessarily buying the game. Uh, that, that's, a, that's an interesting dilemma because you're more supporting him. Yeah, it's going towards, uh, you know, his living costs, I suppose, and expenses. Um, but it is unusual to see this sort of thing behind a paywall. Now, I will say I personally have zero problem with this from what I what little I've seen. It's absolutely worth the the one euro. A hundred percent. It's worth more. But yeah, I'm sh I'm not sure where that lies legally. Anyway, enough about that. Let's try the game out, shall we? This game contains scenes of explo 
explicit violence and gore. We like that. Uh, is there any danger of having this game full screen? Or do I have to have my... There we go. Perfect. So. Dino Crisis Rebirth. I like the, uh, <laughs> the start screen there. That's pretty cool. So, press enter button. Jesus. That looks like... I don't know if that's a new image or something that's been AI remastered. Frame rate information is above us, in case anyone's interested in that. Secret operations raid team. Sort. We believed that Dr. Kirk was dead. We looked for that madman for years. In 2019, we discovered the existence of an unknown research center on Iblis Island, somehow connected to our research. Oh, okay. <laughs> we lost all contact with Tom. In the last radio communication, he told us about something anonymous that happened on the island. Tom spoke about research and something. Okay, you'll have to read that stuff yourself because that went way too quickly for me. Visually, it looks beautiful. Voice acting is questionable, or at least the script is uh, poorly translated, but you know, whatever. The voice acting itself is certainly passable. I'm actually surprised there's voice acting at all, to be honest. Ah, Hibbless Island. That would be Regina and what was his name? Cooper. Yes, Agent Cooper. <laughs> oh my! Cooper didn't even get his boots on the ground this time. In the original, he uh, actually landed and got eaten uh, on the ground. R.I.P. Cooper. The camera work is very, very good. The cinematography is very impressive. Oh dear, look at Regina. And there is the music. The music that we uh, remember. Oh, good lord. What have they done to you, Regina? Oh, no. So here we are. Sort. So, WSD, left shift to run, mouse aiming, fire with gun, interact with doors, and interact with objects. Wait, that was Gale? Yeah, I was going to say, Gale's not here. And who was the other guy? The, um, was, 
I'm trying to think what the... There was another guy. Rick! Yeah, Rick was supposed to drop with us as well, wasn't he? Okay, so this is, uh, as I've heard, a bit of a reimagining. Um, Regina, I... Uh, I mean, she... They've gone full Pixar mum with her. Uh, I'm not a fan of the look, I'll be honest. I think everything above her shoulders looks spot on. And I kind of like the fuzzy sort of filter that they've got going on here. Gives it a nice retro aesthetic. Um, I think her outfit is on point. Yeah, I think they've just, yeah, a bit too much fan service for me. You know, you know me, guys. I like my characters to look realistic. Um, but whatever. So, aiming. Man, the aiming is slow. Regina is a special agent. She's not some random civilian. She is, you know, special forces. I'd expect a little bit more, but all right. I don't know how many bullets we have. We don't appear to have an inventory or anything like that, but that's fine. Anyway, looks like somebody left their notes out here. That's no good. Uh, the performance is... Uh, we're getting like 40 frames a second. That's not great. But, whatever. So, these blue doors, I'm guessing, we can go through. Wow, look at this, though. This is pretty. I'll, uh, I'm going to say it straight away. And although the game is highly stylized with these filters and things, uh, and I don't really like filters and post-processing effects, but it works here. It actually works here. Right, so we've got a door there. There doesn't appear to be any kind of map, which is not great. Wow, we're getting 30 frames a second. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Still. Ooh. No, Leo. Out of the way. Out of the way, boy. So the base is out of power. I wonder if we're going to have the same puzzles and things that we had before. Oh, that looks like a red door. I guess we're not going that way. Okay, we still have some more options. Let's continue our search. They're using... I think this is the original sound track, uh, soundtrack that they've just put over the top. Which makes sense, right? You know. Wow, look at the water, like, coming off. We are under some serious torrential rain here. Are we getting ray tracing here? I don't know, but it looks like it might be. It's very good. But then the dude said he played it on a 1050, so you wouldn't have ray tracing on that. Oh, right. Okay, so this is a weird thing. So, as we saw on the controls, it's E to go through doors, but it was F to pick things up. That's strange. So, Kirk... Oh, the music. My God. Wonderful. Kirk Diary. File 01. The prototype machine is almost ready. We will do the first field test soon. First, the data will be analyzed for a possible molecular disintegration by the solid subjects in the experiments. Then a transfer with living beings will be attempted. Okay. Uh, mouse. All right. All right, so we've got some teething issues. You know, it's a bit rough around the edges, but that's okay. So we found a diary. So, uh, some sort of experiment with transferring matter. Curious. I mean, you can cut the atmosphere here with a knife. Oh, man. The lighting. 
Must be ray tracing. Must be. Lumen. That might be what's eating the performance as well. Lumen. Unoptimized. But you know, this was made by one person. So we are running this on a 4080 and a Ryzen uh, 5800X 3D. Just in case anybody is curious, this is what you could expect. And we're playing at 1440p. You found a door key card. Okay. So, now I'm curious about the door key cards. Does that mean. Does that mean the door is now going to be blue that we can uh, walk through? Yeah, look, because there's a reflection of the blue light here. Yeah. Very, very good. Yeah, if I could make something like this, dude, like, the, the potential would be limitless. With a full moon as well. Beautiful. I do like the way that Regina, as she gets close to us, um, she does go out of focus as well. You get that depth of field effect, which is really quite nice. They've pulled out the stops. I think this is obviously, as the, the, the developer was saying, this is a test bed of uh, you know all the effects that he could implement. You know, he's, he's obviously gone through Unreal 5 and just implemented everything. Um, and why not, right? And it does look phenomenal. You know, if Capcom did bring back um, Dino Crisis, why not stylize it a little bit like this? Because it was always sort of cartoony anyway. Ooh, we've got a... Ah, okay, so we don't actually have the puzzle that we had in the original, but I guess we've got a Jenny... T oh, we just walk up to it. There's not seeing, like, any ammo pickups or anything. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is like a proper remaster, though. So, from what I can understand, it is a... Something's roaring. Some kind of uh, full remaster. You know, a reimagining. Kind of like what they've done with modern Resident Evil remakes. But yeah, I mean, I like my Resident Evil to have a realistic look. Because that's the way I've always kind of enjoyed Resident Evil. I want the characters to look realistic. I want the enemies to be realistic. I want where we're going to be somewhat realistic. You know, in a very action hero way. You know, in a very 80s action way. Um, you know, I'm not saying it needs to... You know, you need to eat, drink, think, sleep and all that stuff. I just like it to look good. But with Dino Crisis, why not differentiate it a little bit and style it up a bit? Why not? Oh, hello. Yeah, Regina looks good, man. Her face, her head looks good. So do the dinosaurs. You see that? I mean, obviously you saw that. That looked awesome. Yeah, okay. Certainly uh, questionable writing, but... Well, it's not the writing, is it? It's the translation, it I'd imagine. Here. This place is so cold and scary. <laughs> Ooh, hello. Dino, is that you? Blue screen of death. Love to see it. And again, it's just... It's odd that E is to explore, but F... Actually picks things up. Dr. Kirk. Uh, file number two. The prototype has been tested. But there was a voltage spike. The power went out in the entire facility. We are still working on fixing the circuits. But we will be operational soon. Time is running out. I must try to finish the experiments before they find me. <gasps> okay. Oh, Kirky boy. What were you doing? I mean, I'm assuming there's combat in this because, 
I mean, we've got a gun. Bit strange that we don't appear to have any kind of like ammo counter or anything. Hey, dog water. <laughs> what? Jan Diego, is that? Wouldn't mind a nice refreshing uh, can of dog water. Maybe that's what the dinos drink. Oof. Well, this place looks completely screwed. All right, Regina, let's just get out of here. I don't think we've picked up anything new. Hmm. Unless, yeah, there must have been something back here that we've missed. Regina isn't exactly the fastest moving person. I'd have liked to have seen her run a little bit quicker. But then I suppose, you know, the way she's moving here is sort of more realistic, I guess. We've been through this door. Ah, here we go. We found a door key card. Just what we wanted. Question is, what door does that allow us access to? Sure, we're gonna find out. Oh yeah, okay. So as soon as you pick up the key cards, the doors just open. Got oh, yeah. That's interesting. Behave. More servers. So we've got another switch amongst the servers. Okay. I'm guessing that opened the third door. Okay. Bit weird there. My capture card actually said... Uh, or oh, should I say my capture software actually said it was paused. Uh, it was not paused. But we are really in frame rate hell right now. 22 frames a second. Oh, hello. One of those little compies. Yeah, Regina looks great. <laughs> you little fucking monster. Yeah, come here, you little shit stain. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, this... Whoa. Oh, I... I don't know what happened there. Do we... Ooh, hell. Now we're back up to 60 frames again. All right, whatever. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened. We were fighting a compi, uh, and then the screen went black, and then now we're in here. Okay. It certainly looks that way, Regina. You know, it doesn't take a, a scientist to work that out. We're going to... Oh, I can't even aim my gun. Oh, hello. Yeah, we can't even aim here, so I'm sort of hoping. Unless if we get spotted, it might be like some sort of instant death situation. Hope it doesn't come to that, lads. Hey there, fella. You just... You enjoy snacking on that scientist's buns. We're just going to sneak on through. Crab walk. 
Yeah, I'd like. I'm not sure how the combat worked either, because we didn't really get to try that much of it. Ooh. Okay, let's maybe not go that way then. What's this way? Okay, we might actually have to go that way. That's, again, suboptimal. I do love how out of focus Regina gets because um, it just gives the game a very hazy, realistic look, I think. I'm loving her hair as well. Oh, shit, we do have to go that way. Aight. I have no weapon. Well, I mean, I do, but I can't use it. Where have you gone, you fucking prehistoric sausage wallet? I don't know. Oh, I've run out of coffee. That sucks. Ah. Man, this place looks cool. Really, Regina? Really? You didn't look? She does her chest and all. She really Shit. does look like a blow up doll. Yeah, we're getting 60 frames now. Not really. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's just be grateful. Where are we now, Regina? That's where that dino went. Oh, look at that. A laser fence. Uh huh. We remember those. Password needed, because of course we do. Hello, Chief. I'm not seeing ammo. An ammo counter. Um, do we just have unlimited ammo? I don't know. Hey, look, A4 paper. The same A4 paper that uh, Regina had her computer balanced on. I mean, look, <laughs> this this place looks very makeshift. Oh, hello. Third energy password found. Okay. Where does this... Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, well. Open says me. Storage rooms. Well, ooh, oh, got that chief. Yeah, there's no helping you, fella. That was cool. Oh, okay. What's casting that moving shadow, though? I guess it's just the light. All right. Oh, fuck. Oi, enough of that. Little shit. Well, at least he's not stealing our key card this time. Whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, every time we fire the gun, the game just lags. We cannot reload. Reloading is like an automatic process. Okay. 
Oh, so we get med kits. So that means we can die. Alright. So we've got a key card for a door. This is a good thing. We like key cards for doors. Now we just need to find the door in question. Um... Is there another door back here that we couldn't go through? Good question by me, says I. What about this one? Oh, you can fuck right off. Yeah, not a fan. It does look like we have unlimited, am unlimited ammo then. So we've just got to keep firing off our gun to reload. Not a hyper fan of that, I'm going to be honest. Oh, you son of a... Come to mummy. Alright, I guess that one was scripted. Okay, so, Dr. Kirk, diary, file four. The first test with the alpha subject, CMP1 on the prototype machine seems to have been successful. We detected his vital signs, but we cannot locate him. A few hours later, the signal of CMP-1 reappears in the facility. Strangely, we cannot find him. It is as if he disappeared. His signal remained for a few days in the laboratory, but nobody has been able to see it. We have come to the conclusion that the experiment was a success. Molecular dis uh, disintegration and recomposition in another place. But the place was in another time frame. So they're just doing teleportation experiments, I guess. But, um, I guess it teleports you to another time. I mean, you know, the original Time Crisis was all about time travel, <clears throat> which is my least favorite piece of fiction, science fiction. Okay, this is sketchy. We can't speed this up either. Yeah, the lighting here is fantastic. So is the audio. The audio is really good. But I, I correct me if I'm wrong, it's been a long time since I've played Dino Crisis. Ooh, we got a dino. Um. But I am thinking this music is just pulled from the game. Ooh, we got a daddy there. Quietly does it, Regina. Quietly does it. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. The sounds they make are fantastic as well. Really atmospheric. All right. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. God, look at the light on the barrels and things. Really nice. All right. I guess... I guess this just, uh, this just keeps going, huh? Pretty sure if, ooh, hello, another dino. Pretty sure if this was a, um, you know, full release game, this, uh, this would become infinite, infamous. Like the endless ladder in Metal Gear 3 that I always reference. Hey there, buddy. Ooh. Oh, Regina's kind of frozen in place. Yeah, we can't move. Or look.
Now we can move. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, so this guy knows a thing or two about creating tension and a spoopy at atmosphere. This guy could teach some of the pros a thing or two. Let's just keep moving. Looks like we're coming to the end of this little shimmy session. Thank God. That went on a little bit too long, I think. <clears throat> Now, I'm not sure if uh, we die. I guess we can die because we can collect medikits. Um, yeah, her chest just looks ridiculous. I'm just going to say it. It just, yeah, it's so distracting. It makes her look like a, like a, car a comical cartoon character. The rest of her is pretty good. But when you see her from the front, she just looks like a cartoon character. Comical one at that. Okay. So we have a choice of doors. So service room two. Oh, compy bastards. Oh, they jump as well. Yep. The, oh, they're faster than us as well, which is a bit of a problem. Now, one thing I don't like about the combat is that you can't really see past Regina. Oh, hello. Maybe that needs to be looked at in the future. So if we die, I don't know what happens. Do we just lose the whole run? Or are there checkpoints that we're not noticing? Hopefully it's a checkpoint situation. So are we just going to be fighting compies then? Or I don't know. Keep exploring. Ooh. Yeah. Not sure why there isn't um, a manual reload, but we certainly seem to have an unlimited supply of ammo, which is good. The corridor. Ooh. I mean, as long as you can actually see these guys, they are quite easy to kill if you've got a lot of time. Oh, there he is. Or she is. Whoa. You right there, friend? Have a good time? I'm sure we're going to see him later. Let's grab the med kit. See, again, um, it's E. E is to pick up medkits, F is to pick up other things. That's just really strange. Maybe that's a limitation of the engine, I don't know. We've got some clipping here, but again, can be forgiven. Look at the water running down the glass. It looks really good. We can kill the frame rate then. <clears throat> so, Dr. Kirk. A diary file. 05. Uh, the prototype machine had worked. We had sent a living subject to another time. So was it time travel from day one? I thought they were trying to produce energy. I'm a little bit ropey with the actual proper story of Dino Crisis. The data collected did not indicate a precise date. The subject had travelled into the past. But we did not know when or how he would return. If at all. We were unable to re-establish contact with the subject. We decided to proceed to the next step on human subjects. So yeah, let's just send people back into time. You know, to see what happens. For the, you know, YOLO, am I right? Seems like a really questionable decision. Especially, you know, if there's absolutely no chance of sending anybody back. Now, I'm not criticising this developer over the story. Because the story in the original game was absolute nonsense as well. Oh, absolute nonsense as well. Beasts. 
kind of annoying having to fire off all of your bullets. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, yes, I can see absolutely everything with that. If everything is Regina's arsehole. All right, so we've got med kit. We've got a door. I wonder if there's any other guns we get. Because if you remember, um, in the original game, the pistol was essentially useless. Uh, and you relied on the shotgun for the majority of it. Okay. Uh, using different types of darts and things, having to put the dinos to sleep. Which I wasn't a big fan of. I preferred, you know, if we could actually fight the dinosaurs. But then I suppose there had to be some kind of distinction between this and Resident Evil. Apart from, you know, the dinosaurs. Oh, no. Where are you? Get fucked. Oh, dear. Where the hell was that guy? I heard him. You heard him. We all heard him. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, okay. That's bad. Oh shit, that's bad. That's bad. Come on, Regina. Whoa. Okay, maybe they're not quite as dangerous as I thought. All right, interesting. Yeah, so you get to a point in this um, where the frame rate just falls through the floor. And then you, I guess, get to a new section and it kind of refreshes everything. I'm not really sure what's going on. Yeah, uh, I thought that Velociraptor dude was going to be like, game over, man. Game over. But... Something big has left these marks. I have to be careful. That yeah. I mean, we've seen raptors. There were those other dinosaurs as well in the original game. You had raptors, and then later on you, you had, like, bigger raptors. Not quite a T-Rex, but, like, bigger raptors. I can't remember what they were called now. <clears throat> Dr. Kirk Diary, file 06. But my idea of time travel was superior. I wanted to do much more. I wanted to reach my goal of bringing as many people as possible. Uh, the work has been underway for a month now, with no results. We are working hard to increase the capacity of the machine. Yeah, maybe don't, guys. Like, I mean, what is the game plan here? We've got a medical kit there. I don't know if we got injured. I'm not sure. It's so cold here. The blackout must have broken the heating system. If they even had a heat <laughs> heating system, Regina. Maybe you should have been better equipped. Oh, fucking hell. Not what I wanted to see. Yep, he's dead. Regina, I don't need to see inside you. Oh, I was going to say, there's another one. Wait. What's eating us? I'm really confused. I mean, that's standard for me. Something attacking us at range. I have no idea. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Just go. Just go. Whoa. We got attacked through. Wait. What is going on? What is... 
They were attacking us from behind the door. Come on. Oh. That's not great. It's not like we were right by the door either. Anyway, whatever. Dr. Kirk Diary. Second day of testing on human subjects. We used two young volunteers who were already living in the facility. They knew the risks they accepted. The first day, the machine did not work. On the second day, instead, it was a success. But there was a further overload. We fear that sooner or later, there could be irreversible damage. We are working on to establish the extent of the damage in the event of a future accident. Yeah, all the warning signs are here. Now, in the original game, there's two... Uh, in the second game, sorry, there are two um, characters that you find. A brother and sister, I believe. That um, have been in the past for a long time. So I wonder if that's a reference to them. Could be. I'm glad to see a medkit as well. Right, gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> oh. Okay. We're like behind. Ooh. We got a lot of deadies here. See, yeah, again, we're getting attacked by invisible enemies. That's a problem. And again, I hate to be that guy. Oh, there you are. Alright, he appears to have disappeared. I hate to be that guy, but... Yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. <clears throat> I don't know whether this is going to be something that's patched or what, but... I guess it's not super important, is it? It doesn't appear to be broken or anything like that. I mean, the frame rate is definitely broken. See? This is the importance of a frame rate when fighting. When you can't aim at your enemies, it's an issue. Yeah, I've got the second most powerful graphics card in the world. Come on, guys. At least for a few more months. Right. Okay, so I don't think there's anything there. God, it's like playing something on the 360. Okay. Or PS3 for that matter. Hello? Looks like we've got another server room. Oh, gonna say, I wonder what's in here. Little squirrely rat bastards, that's what. Oh god, we can't see. There we go, we got them. Well, they haven't stopped us yet, Regina, but there's always that. There's always a first time. Oh, there's nothing in here. You damn sausage wallets. Ooh. I guess we had to go in there, though. Oh, hi. How you doing? That's a bit bigger than Gigi. Regina's just like, nope. 
Oh, good lord. The door is locked. Ah. So we have to go fight that thing. Alright. Which was which way was the way? Not that way. Where was that guy? <laughs> I like the way she just bolts it out of the room. She's like, fuck this. I've had enough of this nonsense. It's alright, Regina. We got you, girl. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it at all. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Let's just unload with everything we've got. Oh, it's not fast, is it? And it'd be nice if I could see it. Wow, it is not fast at all. Right, we've got to keep Regina moving. Otherwise, I just get to see up her asshole. And I'm sure there's... A selection of people that like to see that, but not when I'm fighting dinosaur. Whoa! Wait, what? All right, I. All right, I guess that thing wasn't that much to write home about. I mean, all right. Well, there you go, Regina. You're the most dangerous thing. Here, I guess. Right, well, that's what we want. Give me that. Those compies seem to be the most challenging enemy so far. And that's okay. So, where are we... Oh, there's loads of, like, health kits and stuff around here now. So, where are we going? We're not going through there. Where was the laser wall? Were we gonna go... Ah. We have to go backwards? Yeah, maybe. I'm confused. Yeah, that's right, because Regina was running out of here, wasn't she? Panicking. And then we were blocked by a laser wall. But, where was the laser wall? Bear with me, guys. Where was the laser wall? It's through there, that's for sure. If I get too lost, I'll cut it out. I'm not sure. I mean, you must be able to die, I guess. Uh, otherwise, it makes the health kits redundant, I suppose. That was not a laser wall. Was the laser wall back through here? I hope I don't find myself in front of other surprises. I have yet to reach the laboratory. I don't know what horrors await me there. Ooh, horrors. Here we go. Well, hopefully. There aren't too many more horrors. Oh, look at this. I guess this was their plan. Muhammad something. 2020. So, was, mm, I don't know if this game is sort of like a sequel or something, or if it is just a... I'm not sure. It kind of exists in its own time, I suppose. The two guys are gone from our computers. No life signs. The experiment was a success. So, no, it's two guys, not a brother and sister. We are waiting. In the meantime, we have received bad news. The S, uh, the sort is investigating our research center. I have no idea how they found us. Well, we did, you naughty bastards.
Dr. Kirk's Diary, File 09. There is a sort infiltrator among us. It is Tom. We have locked Tom in our cells in the basement. We have interrogated him thoroughly. We have not obtained exhaustive answers. But we fear sooner or later they will find us. The only solution was to disappear. It was madness, but it had to be done. I'll leave this message. Perhaps it will be the last. I want to activate the time machine and leave. The only solution was to disappear. It was madness, but it had to be... Does that... I don't know. I don't... I guess they didn't kill him. Because we've already found him dead. And he was not in the basement. Anyway. Let's grab this. Keycard. And let's get out of here. You know, I'm starting to really enjoy these fan games. Oh... It's so weird when you move into a room that's 60 after being in a room that's like sub. Feels so good. Something's beeping. Ah, Muhammad. Still can't read it. So I guess that's sort of what they want to build in the prehistoric times. I, were they trying to like go back with modern technology so they could, you know, advance humanity? By the time we get to this stage, humanity's really about. I don't know. I, I'm not sure. So this is a long corridor of nonsense. Oh, hello. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's actually used AI um, for the voice acting, which I'm not against, by the way. If you're, you know, a single project, a single person project, I'm not against that. Hey, gorgeous. Okay, so we made it through a locked door. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm completely open to the use of AI on... Um, oh, no, 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 no. On small sort of projects. Where you have extreme budget constraints. But, you know, if a massive AAA development company is going to use AI voice actors and stuff like that, uh, no. No, you can afford to pay people. So, we saw our gorgeous T-Rex. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Even, like, the reload animation is solid. I like the way her hair bounces around as well. Um, in fact, the way her hair moves is actually better in this than I, what I've seen in a lot of higher budget games. Hello. Uh, this is awkward. What's more awkward is the 10 frames a second. Oh. can't help me? What, you don't have a rocket launcher or anything? You know, certainly not with uh, any well-equipped force, I suppose. Certainly not one of Chris's hound wolves. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, right. I don't trust it. I mean, let's go find some frames. That was anticlimactic. That can't be the T-Rex done. Surely not. And what are we looking for in here? That door? That is not a door. Um... Something keeps beeping, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Oh! Okay. Not sure what happened there. Oh, look at this! Frame rate! Ah! We like that. Yeah, not sure how I ended up here, I'm going to be honest. But whatever, I guess. Right, let's go. To the engines. Sounds like a reasonably good place. Ooh, hello! Yep, I see him game. I've already put about 36 bullets into his face. Yeah, they're really not that impressive. Um, in the original game, when you saw a dino coming at you, that was brown trouser time. Because they were dangerous. But, you know, as we've said, this is just a proof of concept. It's just, you know... We like answers. Uh, the facility, maybe? <clears throat> right, so we've got another key card for the door. I like the fact that this game is linear as well. You know, it seems a little bit confusing because there's no... Um, yeah, we don't have any map or anything, but you don't really need one. Because the game is always just pushing you along. Which again, is different to the original. Look at all this nonsense. That looks so cool. Look at that dick. Yeah, and I like the way we're actually killing the dinos here, like I said before. What kind of place is this? Ooh. It looks like an experimental lab. Were they studying these beasts? Guess so. It's certainly what it looks like. Oh. Someone alive? <clears throat> Dr. Kirk, diary, file 09. Oh. We've, uh... We've, uh, already got that one game. That glitch. Did they just put that one in there twice for reasons? Oh. Okay. That looks really cool. You can see a nice little overview of the whole area. Yeah, I think this guy has, like, some serious potential. You know, if this is what he can make, <clears throat> you know, in his spare time. I mean, we don't know how long this took him, in all fairness. Could have taken him a long-ass time to make. Could have taken years. But if he knocked this up, you know, in a, in a year or so... I think this guy's got a decent future ahead of him. So... We don't have the key card for any of those doors. Alright. I guess we're going to go back to the 
the corridor of doors. See you later, buddy. So that's the laboratory. Alright. There is a door. Okay, this is a little bit. There's also a door there. That's the control room. Have we been in the control room? Nope. Uh, maybe not. Ow. Oh, God. That hurts. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Regina. Fucking bastard. You found a door key code. I wish um, there was a way of finding out where these were for. So we got the... That was from the control room. Um, I guess... Okay, so I guess whatever we're looking for is back this way. Maybe. We've been in there. <clears throat> locked. That's still locked. Can we go up there? I wonder. Ah, that one's open now. I guess we can't go up that ladder. Oh my god, please, can we have some frames? Might have to overclock, man. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Oh, he... <laughs> you fool bastard! <laughs> yep, yeah, you fool bastard indeed. <laughs> File number 10. This is the last message. I don't think I can get out of the facility. There was a second incident. But this time it was different. The energy released was immense. Uh, all the computers and machinery were blown. Everything went out. But the most disturbing thing is the appearance of a huge jungle outside the research center. I'm stuck inside. The doors are closed. There is no power. But it had to be done. I'll leave this message. Perhaps it will be the last. I want to activate the time machine and leave. Well, you might want to activate the time machine and leave, but looks like you had no luck. Do not open. So I get... Is that the time machine powered on? Oh, his head is like folded in into his body. Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, this room is giving me a silky smooth 18 frames a second. Whoa, that bar is like right across his eyes. Oh, that looked painful. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> Oh, dear. Oh, we got some frames at least. No way. Are these guys getting weaker? Oh, nice frame rate. Hello, buddy. You're about to have a bad day, my friend. Who's next? Anybody volunteering? You know what? I'll partake. Come to mama. There you are. Yeah, I'm guessing he probably knew that there was an issue with the aiming and just, I don't know, just didn't have time to solve it or something. Alright. Ooh, hello. 
We have a handle. Ooh. Makes lights go blue. Oh, hi. Pterodon or whatever. He's not interested in her nonsense. Just like, yeah, all right, whatever. Hey. Okay, Dr. Kirk. Oh, so he did make another diary. There is bad news. The portal is back up and running, but the facility is in DEFCON 3 status. I hear screams in the hallways. I hear strange noises, inhuman cries from the next room. I'm afraid to go out. I am close to finding a solution. Well, whatever it is, uh, kind of pulled your head back inside your body. So, yeah, no, not great. Oh, we got compies. Of course we got compies. Why would we not? Barrier must be lowered. What? What? What do you mean the barrier? Um, oh man, there's so many of these guys. Um. Oh no. I'm not sure if these guys are just going to endlessly spawn. I guess we're waiting for the helicopter. Maybe? Right. Oh, okay. Oh, this is bad. Um, didn't we kill you? Oh, you're kidding. Um... Yeah, this could be a little bit awkward. All right then, Mr. T. Let's get this done. Now, oof. run, Regina, run. She doesn't like running. Sometimes you have to push shift a couple of times before she runs. Wait, are we faster than the T-Rex? The compies can outrun us, but the T-Rex can't. Am I missing something? Right, shut your noise, matey, because you're going to have a diet of pure lead. Come on, Regina. Keep those magazines coming. Oh, dear. This is going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, God. Okay, he's not as dangerous as I thought he would be. Or she would be, either or. Oh. That just happened. Well, 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 that was more substantial than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it was longer than the, uh, than a, just a demo intro sort of thing. And I heard it's like, you know, a bit of a proper thing, but that was quite solid from a visual standpoint. The game was excellent. Hoping Capcom is listening to the fans about a Dino Crisis possible remake. I think they are. Um, I wouldn't... Oh, <laughs> and then just kick back to desktop. Okay. Um, I wouldn't at all be surprised, to be honest with you, if um, at some point down the line we get, I guess, 
some sort of remake from Capcom or at least something Dino Crisis, uh, you know, related. But that was pretty solid. Uh, you know, it's a download. It's going to be in the description. Um, I do recommend if you fancy playing it for yourself. Why not, right? Support this guy. Who knows what he might end up doing next? Uh, visually, the game was fantastic. I do like how stylized it was. Um, it did have a unique look um, as opposed to Resident Evil. The story, I can't tell if the story was the same as the original or whether there was some kind of, um, what do you call it? Uh, a bit of interpretation, shall we say. Um, but also the time and the dates on some of the artwork don't line up. Uh, but, you know, we're talking about a time travel game anyway, uh, which is all over the place. It's certainly not a one-to-one -one reimagining of the original. And that's fine. It was a short, what, hour, hour and change um, run? Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to start popping up on YouTube all over the place. Um, I, I do have some issues with it, though. I think the performance is, it's rough. It's really rough. And there's no kind of, there's probably an any file somewhere that you can fiddle with, but there is no options or anything. Uh, you know, it might have been nice to be able to turn some things down or, or I don't know. I was going to say uh, frame generation, but come on. Some guy in his basement making it. Uh, the action scenes, the combat, definitely needs work. You know, uh, not that I think he's ever going to patch this game again or whatever. I think this is kind of done and finished. He's moved on to something else. Um, but yeah, it, the aiming is bad. Uh, you know, where you're in a wide open sections, it works. Because um, the problem seems to be whenever you back up close to, you know, walls or objects that are behind Regina, that's when the camera kind of like goes inside her, which, yeah, not great, um, really. And then when you're also running the game at 18 frames a second, trying to aim at things, problems arise. I do think you should have, had a manual reload because that was a problem. And I haven't got my light on, have I? So I look kind of like weird. There we go. Uh, that was kind of problematic. Um, apart from that, I think having E to open doors and F to, uh, you know, pick up items was a little bit redundant. I don't think that's very important at all. Uh, that was an odd choice, whether that was an engine choice. I don't know. I'm not a developer. But um, I enjoyed this. The visual look, as I said, was fantastic. The dinosaurs were great, even though they weren't much of a threat. Uh, the compies were little bastards. That's absolutely uh, accurate. I mean, they, they, they can go suck a dick, as far as I'm concerned. They were kind of annoying. But the raptors were cool. Um, would have been nice to maybe throw a shotgun in there, but then I suppose the game wasn't really long enough to start adding weapons and, and, and I suppose that sort of thing. But anyway, guys, that's Dino Crisis Rebirth, I believe it's called. All the links will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been a long one. This is going to be like an hour and a half. Jeez, man. Um, but yeah, thoughts. What do you think? Down below. And the link will be there if you want to try it yourself. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.